Howdy y'all, today is June 11th and we are gonna get in the beehive today. So I'm really interested to see what all the bees have done with the honey super that I put on. Uh, they should have some frames drawn out by now and I'm really interested to see the progress. So today I need to decide if I'm going to use this piece of equipment or not. This is the queen excluder. So the slots are so small that the queen can't fit through it, but the workers can. Some pros of using this are you can slap this on and then you don't have to worry about your queen going up in your honey super and laying eggs and who wants to eat brood uh, when you're trying to enjoy a morning biscuit or something. So that's gross. So you can use this, queen can't get through. Uh, some cons to using this, sometimes a hive just won't take to it. They might just refuse to pass through it. Um, another con I've heard is sometimes the slots are so small that um, it could potentially damage the worker's wings. So we'll kind of see. I'm going to play it week by week, but let's go check out that hive. So, so far they have started filling out um, a few of the frames in the honey super but there's not enough there that I'm really worried about it yet so I'm not going to put the queen excluder on this week but maybe we will next week. Alright y'all, uh, when I was putting that beehive back, the uh, top brew box got stuck to the super. So when I lifted that brew box up, the super came with it. And obviously since I wasn't actually holding the super, it eventually kind of fell off. It all happened really quick. And the box dropped. It only dropped maybe that much, but uh, it was enough to freak the bees out. And I don't blame them. And I got stung on the leg, right on the knee, so that's fun. But um Overall, the bees in there look really good, so I'm happy with that. Um, I did see something a little suspicious that I'm going to look into a little bit more. Uh, but for now, they're doing good. And I got Houdini back here who uh, escaped again, so I gotta go get her up. I don't know if they like their new uh, entrance reducer on there. I was just using the feeder. It's been sent empty for a long time. I haven't been feeding them for a while because they were plenty fun. But um, this piece of wood's a little too long, so I gotta shave it down so it sits flat, but it's something better than nothing. really feeling this sting. I don't know if because it's red on my knee or not, but man, I feel it. Uh, I've heard supposedly that bee stings are good for you, and the more you get stung, the less you'll feel them, and supposedly there's some health benefits to it, so cheers to getting stung. Good morning, everyone. Today is the 12th, and we are getting some rain right now, so I got some chickens kind of hunkering down inside the coop, but also some brave souls outside of the coop. Generally, chickens don't like the rain, but I think uh, that tree's kind of helping them out at the moment, so that's why they're still out, but they'll probably be running up here soon. So while it's gross and rainy out, I thought I would take some time to explain something that I uh, have just failed to mention, mostly because it's just so common practice for me that I tend to overlook it. But now that I've started selling eggs, a lot of people have been commenting that, uh, you know, why aren't your eggs refrigerated? And 
never thought about it, but I don't refrigerate my eggs um, because there's no reason to. Now, before you guys start going and buying eggs from Kroger and leaving them out on the counter, don't do that. What I mean is when you get farm fresh eggs, uh, you can let them sit on the counter uh, as long as they're not washed. So when a chicken lays an egg, they put a protective film over the egg called a bloom and that protects um, mosquitoes everywhere. And that protects the egg from bacteria getting in, uh, anything like that. So the egg can sit out, no problem. But as soon as you wash that egg with water, wipe it down, you uh, get rid of that bloom. And since that's no longer there, there's not that protective coating, the egg will go bad. So you do need to refrigerate it at that point. So I just thought I would take a minute to explain that. She is announcing that she just laid an egg. check it out. She sure did. Still warm and a little sticky. So you can see that bloom drying, that last little bit right there. Almost dry. Howdy y'all, today is June 13th and it is extremely muggy out and it's in the 90s. Uh, it feels pretty gross out. You're just instantly wet the second that you step outside of your house, but I would take this over snow any day, so I'm not complaining. Um, I ran to Rural King and also a little place called Nancy's Feed and Hardware. It's on the south side of Indy, uh, just because I was kind of by it this morning. So I picked up a few things from both places. I got a feeder and a water for the uh, chicks. So I got to run those over to my parents' coop and get them all done. Um, also grabbed some bedding too and grit. So still a few more things I need to grab, but I got a lot knocked out. Big old cloud just rolled over, which is kind of nice. Big old dark one. So we might actually get some rain. Good pop up because I didn't see anything on the radar earlier but uh, I would definitely take it. Um, still got a little bit more to haul back to the chicken coop and then uh, we'll get everything organized. low on uh, the big chicken's food so I definitely need to go uh, get that next but things are coming together. starting to get some rain, thunder, lightning. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chickens up for the night. I think uh, most of them are already heading up anyway, so that works out well. I'm going 
to go ahead and upgrade the chicks real quick. Much better. So I got both of these from Rural King and uh, that's definitely going to help out. I won't have to fill those uh, small little feeders up a couple times every day anymore. Howdy y'all, today is June 14th. It's currently 91 degrees, both that heat index, humidity and everything, it feels like 103. So it's toasty out. The shade is just about off the chicken coop behind me here. So I have a reflective tarp that I'm gonna pop on top and see if I can help keep the coop a little cooler for the chickens. Uh, right now it's reading, what was it, 98 last I looked in there. So it's pretty toasty. So when it gets really hot out, the bees will do something that's called bearding, and they'll hang out on the outside. I was kind of wondering if they would do it today. Uh, they're not making a big show of it just yet, but it is only about one o'clock. So all the bees are probably gonna be running out and cooling off here in a little while. Alright, so we got the tarp and boards up top. It kind of looks a little hillbilly rig, but you know what? It works. Uh, next thing on the list is I am going to go ahead and take down this back part. Uh, I've been keeping it up just so it keeps them dry when it rains, but uh, it's going to be so hot right now that it's not worth keeping it down and risking my chickens' lives. So that's all going to go off, and then um, if it ever cools off the next couple weeks when we get a lot of rain, I'll put it back on. Did you know that chickens don't sweat? They pant like a dog. You can see this girl right here. She's hot, she's panting. And they also hold their wings out slightly away from their body like she's doing, just to get a little bit more airflow underneath those wings to help cool her down. All right, y'all, today it is June 15th. It's currently mid 90s and heat index is definitely over 100 in the coop right now it is currently 102 so slightly better than yesterday and it's currently about three o'clock so still a little bit more heat yet left in the day but the chickens are enjoying some nice cold water that I brought out and they're hanging out under the maple tree you know, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it looking at the beehive I don't think I ever told you guys what I saw inside that looked a little suspicious. Um, it kind of looked like the start of a queen cup. So basically <laughs> the bees were making a new queen. Um, I did go through the hive. I saw the queen eggs, larvae and everything. So the queen's in there and doing fine. Um, so when I get in this next time, I'm gonna see if that was actually a queen cell uh, that the bees were building. <laughs> and if so, I'll probably just go ahead and remove it because I definitely don't want a swarm. I'm not going to be making any splits right now. Um, just don't need another queen. So it could be nothing, but it kind of looked like the start of something. Since we haven't had much rain and there's not a lot of water around, I'll give the bees a little drinking spot here. I got the uh, plant in there so in case they fall in, they can get themselves out.
little mower's got some power to it. I'm impressed that it did it. It did it real easily. Gotta love John Deere. So good productive day today. Got the grass cut minus a few larger clover sections. I didn't cut all that just so the bees had something to eat for a while. Chickens have been running around. Houdini got out again. Still have no idea how, but uh, they're doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of wet food just because it's so hot out. But uh, other than that, it's a good, simple, easy, productive day. All right, y'all, today is June 17th and it's a Friday. Uh, I'm busy on Saturday because I'm going to a friend's wedding. Uh, so I won't be able to get to the feed mill and then Sunday the feed mill is closed So I've got to run and get some chicken food today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a few bags for them All right, y'all yeah, I am back from the feed mill. I only got two bags because they were out of my uh, Usual stuff they had to make some more this week. So I normally get the uh, pellets. These are the crumbles So it's just a little bit smaller, but it's still the same brand still the organic feed all that good stuff. But guess how much I paid for this? Two bags of feed. Take a guess. These two little bags right here, $85. $40 a bag. That is absolute insanity. Uh, these aren't even the pellets I usually buy. These are the crumbles and crumbles are always cheaper than pellets because you don't have to have the extra step to process them into pellets. So. Well, it looks like Omelet lost her band. Have to get that back on her. So I got a band on Miss Frizzle. I made her yellow. Now I also got um, Omelet's back on her. I don't know where she is at the moment, but she's got hers. Let's check out these crumbles. There it is, the crumbles. Basically, dust. That's why I don't like uh, buying this stuff. The chickens can be really selective on what they want. They can pick out only the grain or whatever they feel like eating at the time. And then a lot of this stuff goes wasted just because it's so fine. The chickens aren't going to eat like stuff on my fingers. So, not a fan of this stuff, but it's all they had. But I'll have to hold them over for now. Let's fill it up. So before I put the other bag in, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some calcium. I find when I mix this feed with water that the chickens tend to not eat the calcium pieces, but when it's just dry, they uh, will eat it. So that's up to them whether they wanna eat it or not, but it is there for them. And then for a little extra kick, I give them uh, some red pepper seeds it's just kind of a nice little treat. And they like them, so I kind of spoil them a little bit. I'll mix that in with the food from time to time. Come on, chickens. Looks like Houdini showed somebody else how to get out. Y'all better not go any further in that woods. I've seen some hawks that'll get you. I hear a hawk actually right now. So these little guys are about a month and a half old. They're getting big. You can't hold them in one hand anymore, that's for sure. And this little one still likes hopping up on me. So that speckled one there, the kids uh, named Speedy. Over here's one eye, still only has one eye. Um, let's see, this big white one back here is Lemonade. Uh, Featherfoot is right here see the feathers on his feet and hunchback i think is this one and he's kind of changed a little bit or she um so i don't really remember who hunchback is but they're all looking good 